Julie from julieblanner.com and I'm so excited to share my bakery style cookies with you today. I start them off with a little trick that makes them better than the rest, actually better than the bakery. And that is browning butter. And I'll show you just how to do that. To brown butter, we're first going to turn our range onto medium heat. And now we're going to put our butter in. and watch it melt. You'll notice you can hear the butter simmering and you'll see it foaming. Resist the temptation to stir and if you feel like you need to give it movement, just give it a little shake. We're getting really close. I'm just waiting for that nutty brown color and aroma. And it looks like it's ready to go. Now we're going to allow the brown butter to cool before we incorporate it into the rest of our recipe. Now we're going to combine our sugars with vanilla and egg until our butter is cooled. We're gonna do three quarters cup of sugar. We'll do one cup of packed brown sugar. And I actually just use my jar to pack it because I'm kind of lazy like that. and then a tablespoon of vanilla, which I'll measure for you today, but I've been guilty of not doing the same for myself. And our two eggs. Finally, we're just going to mix this on low until barely incorporated. One of the secrets to bakery style cookies is that you don't over mix the egg. That makes all the difference in the world because it really helps them rise and gives them body. Now we're gonna to mix together our dry ingredients. First, three cups of flour. And then we'll do a teaspoon of baking soda. and then a half teaspoon of baking powder and a quarter teaspoon of salt. Then we'll mix them all together and set aside until we're ready to incorporate into the wet mixture. Now we're gonna grab that browned butter now that it's all cool, that way we didn't scramble our eggs. We're gonna pour this directly into our mixing bowl. Now we're gonna stir on low. And as I mentioned before, we don't want to over mix, so just to look incorporated. And we'll start blending in our dry ingredients. Oh, these smell so good. Now that these are just mixed, we're going to blend in our chocolate chips. Now the next step to make these chocolate chip cookies is to use a cookie scooper or your hands to roll dough balls. And you're just going to drop them onto your cookie sheet. Now we're gonna press in a few chocolate chips on top to make them extra pretty. And I'll put them in in all different directions, that way it doesn't look too forced. And a little crack of sea salt to take them over the top. Now we can either freeze these so that they hold their shape or you can put them directly in the oven. To make these bakery style chocolate chip cookies, go to julieblanner.com for the full recipe.